Oh. Absolutely extraordinary. What's up guys, Mamma here, and today I'm going to be talking about what anime I'm going to be watching for Fall 2016. Now, Summer 2016 was decent, but not great. Look, ReZero. I'm not mad at you, okay? I'm just disappointed. Looks, what the fuck? What the hell is this art style? No offense, it, it looks like, uh, fucking Jimmy Neutron. Like, that's terrifying. So we got a Jin second season, didn't watch the first season, and we got the first anime I'm gonna be legitimately watching is All Out. Now, All Out is a rugby anime? I don't know, but it's made by Madhouse, which, oh, anything Madhouse touches is generally, like, really, really good. And I don't really watch sports anime, but I've never heard of a rugby anime, so I'm totally gonna give this one a shot. Not to mention, there's just, I don't know, there's something else about this anime that really just, uh, really just pulls me in, so. So I'll definitely be watching this one. So, let's see, we got, mm, shit, shit, weird looking shit, shit, shit. Blood Ivors? Blood Vors? Blood of Wars. I think that's what they're trying to go for. Oh, okay, so this is like some really fucking cheesy ass, like, uh, Twilight shit, where like there's a half breed human slash vampire, and they're trying to combine the worlds of humans and vampires so they can live peacefully in harmony forever. This sounds cheesy as fuck, but I'm probably gonna try it. Who's this made by? Creators and Pack? What the fuck is Creator and Pack? I've never heard of these guys. What the fuck? Oh, holy shit, they've made almost nothing. They must be brand fucking new. Yeah, oh wow, okay, so they're actually releasing two anime for fall 2016, so at least they're busting their asses. But yeah, I probably watched this anime just because it's by a new studio that I've never heard of, and I want to see how good they are. And it sounds cheesy as fuck, and sometimes I just, you know, you gotta watch that one super cheesy motherfucking anime. So, yeah, we'll see about this one. We'll pro I'll probably end up giving this one a try. Okay, let's see what else we got. Blood Rive, Brave Witches. It's an etchy. Probably gonna watch it. I, I generally like start off every season with watching every fucking etchy they have available, just so I can find that one perfect etchy I want to watch, and then get rid of the rest. So all the etchies compete to see who can hold me along. So, oh, it's by Silverlink. So it's probably a pretty decent etchy. Still, I like a lot of Silverlink's etchy. Uh, shit. Bungo Stray Dogs second season. I didn't really enjoy the first season though. I don't know how I feel about the second season. Probably, probably gonna watch the first few episodes, see if it gets any better, and if it doesn't, I'm just gonna call it. Gawkin Handsome. Holy crap, this looks like cringeworthy shit. One second. Yeah, this looks like ultimate, like, level 10 cringeworthy, 10 out of 10 cringe stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! Okay, so I want to let people know, somebody paid for this. Like, someone paid money to get this made. Series of university students who aim to be voice actresses. Some of these aren't bad. Who's it made by? <laughs> okay, Diomedia. So, yep, that's, okay, yeah. I'm sure this girl's 21, this girl's 24, 16, 16, 18, and 20. Like, no offense, they've got this strange addiction, like, having super young-looking girls. This is a college student, guys. Hayuka, yeah. Uh, I want to take a wild guess and say this would be the most popular anime this season, just because it's it's that fucking volleyball anime, and literally everybody watched. And this will be, and this one right here is gonna be second because it's that fucking trumpet anime. I haven't watched either one of these. I just have a thing against sports anime. Now I'm not a big fan of music anime, which is ironic because those are the two like most popular genres I've found. I'll probably eventually one of these days go back and watch this anime. Probably not this one. Oh, etchy. Yeah, it'll be competing for my etchy choice. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make that a video by itself. Is uh, my etchy choice awards. That's made by that same suit. Holy shit, these guys have made a total of like nine anime creators in pack, and three of them are really released all at the same time. That's, god damn, they must be like fucking forcing their people to work hella hard. And let's see, what else we got? Nana Bak. Now this is actually the anime I'm looking forward to the most. It mixes this grunge style with like super saturated images. And I don't know, man, I think it looks fucking gorgeous. I'm so psyched for it. Now it definitely seems to be like girlish kind of anime because they've got a bunch of like really pretty boys over to the, but either way, I don't give a shit. I'll probably end up watching it because I'm sorry, the art style is just too gorgeous to keep me away. Uh, oh, absolutely. I'm, I, this is another, this is the etchy that's probably gonna win. Just gonna throw it out there. This anime seems fucking hilarious, and it's just like uh, another anime I watched, and I can't remember the name of it. I'll just pop an image on it on the screen so I don't look like a fucking moron. But yeah, pretty excited for it. Now, I don't know what 2B Hero is, because it sounds fucking hilarious, but hopefully it's a full anime, but I have my doubts. Um, it sounds more so like one of those ones where they get three episodes or two episodes, but we'll see. If this one is like a full anime, you can bet your ass I'll be watching this anime, so... 
Probably not, probably not. No way in fucking hell. Now, fun fact, I've actually watched the first season of this anime, and what season is this? Fourth, they have four seasons now? Holy shit. I'm sorry, but oh, I don't wanna bash on the anime, but the first season is, like, was so ridiculously stupid that I actually was able to make it through the whole season just because it was so over the top retarded. So yeah, it's fucking great. And Motachi ga mote. Oh, this actually sounds fucking hilarious. It's a shoujo, but I don't give a shit. I've watched. I, watch, I love shoujos. One of my favorite anime is a shoujo. It's a reverse harem with a with a chick who was fat and then loses a ton of weight, so all the guys start hitting on her. Sounds funny. I probably I probably will actually watch. It. I'll give it a shot. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Something tells me it's by Brains Base, and I love a lot of Brains Base stuff. And Yuri on Ice. I will absolutely be watching Yuri on Ice. Because I'm really proud of them, because it's a really innovative idea to take my favorite anime genre and then put it on ice. So I'm pretty excited about that one. So my realistic of what I'm actually going to be watching this season, well not this season, this fall 2016, is going to be All Out, Blood of Wars, God, I'm sorry, it's spelled so terribly and I fucking hate it. I'll try Bungo Stray Dogs, second season, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably give them this anime a try, Kyojo. I will definitely be watching Nanabaka. Although, I have a bad feeling it's not gonna be a good anime. Like, ever get that feeling like, oh god, I hope it's good, but then it turns out bad. That's what I'm getting with Nanabaka. But, you know, you never know, it might be really good, so um, I got my fingers crossed, because it looks like it could be really good, so that'll be fun. Okos Okosama ga sete ko I can't pronounce anything in Japanese. That'll probably be my etchy anime of the season, although, I'm gonna try all the other etchy anime and figure out, because I am an etchy connoisseur, and I, I know which etchy is the best. I'm. To be hero, if this is a full-fledged anime, I will absolutely be watching this. Otashi ga mote tsunda. I feel like this is gonna be the underrated anime of the season. I have a good feeling this anime is gonna be good as fuck, but it's just gonna kind of not get as high on the list as it should be. So yeah, that's my that's my anime list. My bet for the best anime this season is gonna be All Out, and that's excluding like Hayaku and the other second season anime, which are gonna obviously beat it out just because they've got such a massive fan bases. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe. This is anime. Make sure you guys say, "Man, go watch that goddamn anime."